Welcome back lovely ladies and gents to another episode of Thrift to Vintage. This is my show where I take used, unloved, somewhat a little bit daggy thrift store clothes and I refashion them and I transform them into beautiful vintage style outfits. Today I have this lovely sort of teens 20s styled blouse but it didn't start off like this it was a plain kimono this episode i'm going to show you how i went from uh, this thrift store item into this lovely refashioned much more stylish blouse if this is your first time here my name is evelyn wood and i'm a dressmaker sewing teacher and I love to refashion thrift store clothes. So let's rewind and go back to the beginning uh, where it all started with this top and my ideas and inspirations for this one. So why did I select this shirt in the first place? Well, I really love the fabric for one. It's a beautiful, soft, floaty rayon and it is the most gorgeous green color. Um, I love it, it suits my uh, color palette in my wardrobe. It's going to work nicely and I really like this little border trim through here. So this is what mostly attracted me to it. And then of course I assessed the design and kind of worked out in my head what I think I might do. So just what is the plan for this one? Well, I don't like how these sides open up and you can see the underside of the fabric. It looks really messy, it looks cheap. You can even see the label here. I mean, look at that. So what my thoughts are is to actually uh, take this, like sew this into a seam. So this is all gone through here and create a like kimono style uh, sleeve out of this, which was very popular in the 1920s. The belt loops on this are actually more like my under bust rather than my waist. So I'm going to ignore those and kind of um, scrap those all together and create something that's actually at my waist afterwards. And then the really sneaky tricky part is once I've uh, cut this down, I want to actually, with this border here, I want to create, if there's enough fabric that is, uh, create some kind of a collar or use it in some decorative way. I'm thinking around the neckline, but I won't really know until I've cut it off and I see how much I have of that to actually work with. So first I'm going to have to work on the deconstruction and the unpicking, creating the kimono sleeve and seaming this back down, leaving a little bit of extra room for my hips in that. And just like that it is now in two pieces but I didn't get very far before I have to stop for a break because I'm hungry who starts a project like 15 minutes before lunchtime there's a really not an ideal time anyway I'm gonna go snack and continue with this in a minute that is much better okay uh, I have actually unpicked a little bit more uh, these little side bands because I realized I want every, every little bit of seam allowance possible at that hip area because I need it. I have my underarm point coming down to here. Uh, I'm going to cut across here and come down here and create my kimono shape. Let's get to it. Seriously, don't try and film and sew and concentrate at the same time. It doesn't work. I wasn't clearly watching the camera and not the sewing machine. And when I'm uh, 
winding the bobbin it skipped out of the little tension disc and so it's all like a mess I have to take it all out and redo it so moral of the story concentrate when you're doing your sewing don't watch the camera watch the sewing machine I haven't uh, clipped the underarm corner or anything yet, so it's all a bit scrunched up and it, well, it's just going to fit at the hips. The basic shirt construction is now done. Now it is time for the decorations. And well, I'm not really sure what to do with them. If you didn't notice, I have straight pieces of the uh, border trim here on a curved neckline so that's really not going to work. I'm just going to play around with this for a little while. Okay I'm thinking to make some actual ties at the front so join two together, uh, insert it up the sleeve, the shoulder seam, and have it so it can just like tie and just loosely hang, then I can put maybe just a tiny little um, black drawstring or something um, around the waist. I think I'm going to go with that because even as a belt I think it loses the 20s look like that. I think it will lean into the style more with dangly knot at the top. Okay, let's get sewing. Yes, yes, I'll definitely do the necktie. So I'm at the last little bit now. I'm just going to actually uh, sew these straps on top because they've got a nice finish and I think that'll work well rather than undoing and trying to redo. It gets a bit messy. So that'll just be neatly stitched on top and these ties will be it. So these, you know these coat hanger like straps that they put in things? I hate them. They're so annoying. They always stick out everywhere and oh. oh. They're getting the snip every time. Oh, do you hate these as much as I do? I just find them, they just get in the way and they look terrible rather than be helpful. Let me know. As I'm doing the finishing touches here, I'm just realizing this is probably one of the uh, more simpler refashions I have done in a long time because I can actually finish it and in just a few hours rather than it be all day because it's really complicated so kind of really liking it there's something to be said for just like simple quick easy ones although I must admit I did do a few sort of quick fixes uh, on a couple of tops and a skirt uh, before I went away on holidays at Christmas time they were really like five ten minute jobs max but I didn't film them or show you I was in a bit of a hurry and I didn't know whether you'd be interested in seeing those kind of really easy little things Anyway, let me know what you think about that if you want to see those sort of quick fixes um, in the future as well. And if you are new to sewing and this is your first time here, you can always go to my website evelynwood.com.au and you can sign up for my free starter class, um, my crash course on how to sew. It'll give you a few little projects, a little bag to make and it'll show you all about your machine, how to sew fabric. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to finish this and I will show you the reveal of this and how I style it and how this one ends up.
This one makes me want to not do overly complicated refashions not ever again, but at least for a little while. It was so much fun to actually uh, complete something in a few hours. It takes a while whilst, whilst filming as well, uh, but actually see progress. It was so nice to do something a little bit simpler rather than a full on deconstruction, reconstruction, need to like plan everything. Let's just say there's something said to be for some simple projects and it is so comfortable. I love the look of this. Absolutely. Originally, I was going to uh, plan to have it down a little bit lower, uh, a bit more sailor-like, but I actually like it up a little bit higher and give that really early 20s look, even bit teens with this sort of um, early 20s, teens kind of style hat. I think it all works really well together. What would I do differently next time? Nothing. This one, I would do exactly the same. It was pretty simple, so there wasn't too many uh, seam finishes or anything to have to fuss about too much to learn to do better next time. One of the pleasures of simple projects. Make sure you do leave your comments below. i love to know what you thought of this refashion, whether you might do it for yourself, something similar, uh, and check if you are actually subscribed to my channel. Uh, if not, please hit that down below. And if you ever feel like sharing uh, my videos because you love them so much, please do. I am so grateful. It really helps my content and my message get out to more people. So I really do appreciate those shares that you do. I'm so happy to be back doing uh, more refashions and filming them for you. So uh, hopefully many more to come soon. And if I don't overcomplicate them, of course, I can do more. Okay, my ladies and gents, until next time, bye. I just found my earring on the floor. I'm wondering if I only had one earring on the entire way through that episode. Hmm, let me know.